Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up WordPress um, 4.8 on your WIMP server. And this also works too if you're doing it on any other site as well, such as Bluehost, GoDaddy, or any of those sites as well, or if you're doing it on Mac, on MAMP. So the first thing you want to do, um, if you're doing WAMP, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and just activate it and start it. I'll probably do another video going through and teaching you how to do that. So let me make sure, okay, so it's starting. And then let's wait till it turns, turns green. And then when it turns green, we're going to just go over here to the directory. And this is where... It, where where we're gonna put everything out. You see, I got a couple instance of Drupal, WordPress, and some other things as well. So let's go down. Let's go and download WordPress. So all we would do is just go to WordPress. org. Make sure you go to org. If you go to com, it's gonna take you to the WordPress hosting. Um, because WordPress is their own hosting it has kind of a little separate approach. This is more for the, de the developer right here. So you go right here and then click on this. And then we come over here and we're going to download it. It's actually pretty simple to download and install WordPress. We're going to download WordPress 4.8. We're going to use a, a zip. Okay, so we're going to save it. And then we're downloading it right there. So the next thing we're going to go through and do is after we take, go to and download, we can wait for this to download. It takes a couple seconds. Um, as I said before, this file is only 8.5 megabytes, so it's not not so, not really a big file, um, but it's pretty in, easy, you know, just to download and get get, get situated. I'm using Firefox as my browser, um, and you can use Chrome as well. I I've done it on Chrome multiple times, um, so it works it works exact same. So let's see exactly where we are. Okay, we have it in our, in our downloads. Let's copy it from here. And then, wait, let's go back to that. Pull this up. And then we wanna go to downloads. And then we wanna bring that over from, bring this one over, drop it over here. And then all we're gonna do from here is extract. And then we, could, we should go back out here. Extract to the top. Um, give it a um, then we'll rename it once we finish I'll wait till this to finish and now this is our installation right here um, from right here our WordPress installation you can rename this anything you want to um, so you can go about and you can do that. I'm actually going to have another one. You guys can put multiple ones in the same one. So I'm actually going to delete these old ones I have. So delete this. I'm going to delete this one too as well. And you can put multiple different ones if you want to and do like subdomains um, in there as well or have a actual test one actually on the same one. So we have everything set up here. Um, the next thing we're going to go through and do is basically go to this address. And but wait, we need to go through and set up a. So let's go down here. Click on. Um, next thing you need, you need to create a database. To so PHP my my admin. Um. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to PHMy, PHP My Admin, and here we're going to just create a database. Um, if you don't know your password, um, all you need to do is use root, and then you don't have to put a password in if you on WIMP, and you can go ahead and go straight into it. And since this is on your local, it doesn't really matter too much because these are just from your sites that you play around with or your um, testing sites. So we'll create a database. So we'll do one as WordPress. Test. And that'll be our database. 
Now we need to create a user. So we go to privileges. And basically we'll create it add a new user. Give the user the same name. And then password is gonna be something simple. And then from there, give them all the privileges they need. And then over here, over here we're gonna push go. And then we have our database created. And then we're gonna to wanna to head over after that. Um, we're gonna after that we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and head to WordPress so we can go to our directory. Um not here, our local host. So right here at the top. And then we can see what we have right here. We can head over to this and then just wait for this to load. And then sometimes with those air right here, all you really need to do is come back through here and do local. local host and then we need to visit this location right here and this is where the word where wordpress um has been in, has been um extracted to right here and so it's gonna have to go through and, and pick our um language so you pick whatever language you have i appreciate sure they have it the majority of languages out there um then right now we're gonna go through and put in the database name the database username the database password database host and the table prefix um, that we have for the, the database. So let's go through in the database name. Um, we did that. Do our, our password, something simple. Let's do um, test. And then we can run our installation. Run our install. Um, it's pretty simple. Then you can put your name in. So if I did like or use this as a test site for this and then you can put in and you can put in any password you want to do in your email and then from there you're you're installed on WordPress it's pretty simple for most point guys um, it's not really too hard to put this on here sometimes some people come in towards some troubles but for the for the most times um, this is straight, pretty straightforward. There's only like four or five steps. And then right from there, um, you go in there and then it'll set WordPress up for you. And then you can just log in. So let's go ahead and log in. Look at our new site. Oop, if I can remember the password. I had to go back and go ahead and get the password. Um, I see, and I'm forgetting it. But yeah, and this is the basic WordPress right here. And as you can see, um, we set up in less than 10 minutes, and the majority of that time was actually took talking. So you can go through and set this up pretty easy. And this is your basic WordPress site where you can go in and you can install in anything you want to install on here. So let's do this theme that I've been working on to see how that looks. So you just go into here. And then choose that new and then grab any one of these themes you want to and then from there you're pretty good right there you install it activate it add any plugins you want to add and then from there this is how you can do local um wordpress develop the development of your site um using wamp and using wordpress it's pretty simple and guys hope you enjoyed this video tell me now if you like more videos like this um, that are a little bit more technical. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos right here. And these videos will come out every single Monday. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you want to know more about um, you know, building an online business or building a digital products and sell digital products online. I'm Xavier Kelly. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.